Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is my client, Deshawn, in which I wanted to show you another long person with dreadlocks. And I wanted to get a little insight from her what she thought about her locks and how um, How long have you had your locks at, at this point? 10 years. This April makes 10 years. Really? Okay. And how do you feel that this system works for someone with really long locks that come to, you know, mid back? And she's in the nursing field, so you move around a lot. How does that work for you, the versatility and everything? Pull it up ponytail. I, even at this length, you know, I have this system where we work where you twist it up for me and I can put it underneath the wig. So <laughs> I have some versatility. Um, I just, I love the versatility of this length. I can still pull it up, can wear it down. Does it itch a lot? Never. Never really? And how long, how often do you come for your maintenance? Maybe once every five weeks. Really? Five weeks? That's really good for no itching. And your your maintenance lasts that um, length of time also? Absolutely. Since I've been coming here, for some reason, I don't know what it is. It's something about <laughs> the longevity of the maintenance. I mean, I don't feel that I have to come as soon as I used to um, when I've gone to other places to get my maintenance. Um, but I know that I need to come in a little sooner, so I do. But I'm loving, I'm loving what I have, what I feel, what I see, the compliments. I'm loving it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And every time Deshaun comes, we try to style up her locks so that it's easy for her to go to sleep on, get in a car, because I know that's another issue with the car headrest, leaning forward in some vehicles. So I try to make sure that it's comfortable on that level. I also make sure that, again, like I was speaking of before, people with those longer locks, they have a little more tendency because this can be a lot of weight to you. It feels like nothing. But in your hair and on this base, this could be a lot, especially pulling this back in a ponytail. So a lot of people in this area right here start to lose a lot of that hair. And then you have men that start to bald in the crown area right here, which makes that thinning come out in this manner. So with my system, I like to implement a little bit of those proteins that I was telling you guys about. Putting it into your bottle solution. You can see here how my bottle kind of separated a little bit where my, my little bit of my creams and things at the top. But once I shake that up a little bit more, it comes back together. I spray that in on top of using my Talil Wajid, which I'm going to use what the words I heard someone else say, endorse highly this cream is very very good it's very thin check this out where is it that is all you need just a nice little amount of cream put that in twist that in tightly go through that dryer format uh, let it dry really good you're not really going to bake it too hard but this is a maintenance wear it's flexible those locks can move as hair should and would move yet it's still staying in place and also because her hair is a little thin, I didn't twist it to Jesus Christ to where the locks are breaking right here. Because you can cause that hair and the elasticity to go out of it. And this will pop clean off its base. And I've seen that happen a number of times. Also, where the heaviness in some of the other videos I showed you the consistency of products. How that in the end of these can cause this whole thing to just pop off in your sleep, in your workout, in your daily routine. So be a little bit aware of that. Be aware of your styling. Be aware of your finishing products like your oils. Be aware of your clippings. Be aware of the combs that you're using just so that this style and this hair solution, this hair process can last for you. I want to thank Deshaun and her lovely locks for giving us that opportunity. And I'm going to style them up and show you what it looks like in just a second. Check me out for more. Peace.